As Election Day draws even closer, battleground states are heating up, and one of the hottest is Michigan. Iraq War veteran John James, heralded as one of the strongest GOP recruits this cycle, is facing freshman Democratic Senator Gary Peters. We are content with calling ourselves the silent majority. Why are we quiet? Our policies work, our values are right, and our cause is righteous. 2016 saw President Trump take Michigan by the smallest margin in any state. And with Mr. Trump slipping in the national polls, James is framing his candidacy as separate to the Trump administration. Experts, however, are unsure voters will split their ticket in such polarized times. Ticket splitting in this country is becoming increasingly rare anyway. So I think this is going to be a real problem for Republicans, particularly Republicans who have not um, overtly and formally um, distance themselves from the president. With a Supreme Court justice nomination on the horizon, controlling the upper house is more important than ever. Without a Senate majority since 2015, Democrats are desperate to hang on to the seat, while Republicans have much to gain too. The Michigan Senate race is one of the few opportunities that Republicans have to pick up a Senate seat. So resources are flowing in. Polls currently pegging incumbent Gary Peters as the winner, but insiders insist on caution when predicting the outcome. Although most polls show Peters with a narrow lead, that lead is within the margin of error, and there are a lot of undecided voters. This bitter battle for the Senate seat in Michigan will continue until Election Day.